If you're watching this video, you're probably sitting the UCAT in 2022. Now, the UCAT is a very expensive test to prepare for at times, but here are some ways you can save some money for that. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Yang and I am a first year medical student at Monash University in Victoria, Australia. Last year, I graduated with a 99.50 ATAR and a 3,230 UCAT. And on my channel, we talk about all things from productivity to studying to how we can prepare for things like the UCAT or the ATAR. Now, as always, everything I mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description below. So make sure to check that out and also hit the subscribe and like button if you haven't yet. Now, before I go into the actual resources, I must clarify that I'm not being paid by any company or any services to promote these. This is purely based off my own experience and I will share with you what I think the pros and the cons are of each of these services. First thing I do want to let you guys know is that UCAT registration opens up in around a month and a half. And if you're applying for the UCAT SEN or the UCAT SA, that opens up actually in around a week's time. Now, why is that important? Well, the UCAT actually isn't free. In order to sit the UCAT, you need to pay a $300 to $400 fee. So that's something important to keep in mind. Now, my first point is that you actually don't need any paid services to practice for the UCAT. What do I mean by that? Well, the UCAT actually has their own question banks and four practice tests that you can all do, which are completely free, supplied by the UCAT, and are by far your most accurate questions. However, you do want to be super, super careful with using those questions as they are essentially your best questions. So you don't want to do them all in one go. So maybe save some for now, save some for later and spread out your preparation. And I really, really believe that if you can use those resources well, you don't need to get anything else at all in order to score well on the UCAT. You have to keep in mind, the UCAT isn't actually something that you necessarily have to prepare for. Sure, you can prepare and get better results, but a lot of people are already naturally good at it. So. If you're that type of person, you might not need any paid resources. Having said that, that leads me into my second point. Should you buy any paid resources? And contrary to popular belief, I would say yes, because a lot of paid resources provide a lot of value for what they are. Now, do I mean paid resources as in $300 an hour tutoring or a $5,000 program? Probably not, because what they tell you probably won't be as useful as some other videos or tutorials that you can find for free. But I do think there is a bit of merit in products like Medify, MedEntry, and other companies. Now, again, as I said, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I'm just sharing my honest thoughts. And I was lucky enough to be able to get a Medify subscription and also an ICAN Med subscription and a MedEntry trial. Now, I'm going to leave my thoughts for each of those three main companies there for another video later on. But in general, I think that either one of those choices there is a great selection that will help you adequately prepare for the test. I'm also aware that even the cheapest subscription you can get for Medify, $320 for 12 months, is still quite expensive for some people, which is why I also have a list of free resources that I think would be really helpful for you guys. My first free resource that I highly recommend you guys to check out is simply YouTube. YouTube has so many tutorials and explanation videos and going through subtest videos, it's incredible. And the things you can find on there will be really, really helpful in terms of the actual study. In fact, there are whole programs out there that teach you zero, from UCAT, from zero to 100, over a course of 10 videos, for example. Um, I'll list my favorites and I'll list my favorite guides as well. It is important, however, to keep in mind that a lot of the times these videos might not be great. So make sure you pay attention and take everything with a grain of salt because what works for one person might not work for another. So what I recommend is use YouTube and find particular techniques of different channels and see what works for you. My second really helpful free resource is the r slash UCAT Discord and subreddit. Now, that is something that I personally engage with a lot. If you guys know me, my username there is Xy, but it's super, super helpful because not only is it a great environment, whether you have any questions about the actual UCAT itself, practice questions about university entry, they've all got you covered. They've got everything, you know, they've got everywhere from doctors, medical students, UCAT applicants, people who haven't sat it yet, to people from all walks of life to really come in there and help you. So super, super recommend you guys to go check out the Reddit or the Discord there, which I will obviously link in the description. Alongside that, you'll find links to more explicit free resources that might be super helpful to your study. My third free resource is a website called passmedicine.com. Now, Pass Medicine is a UK-based website that is actually serviced towards medical students, but they have a trial that is completely free that you guys can check out. And it's essentially 10 different mini mocks from each um, section that you guys can access through under time conditions. And yeah, it's a really, really good free resource and it has plenty of questions. So in fact, you could probably get by with just using that as your preparation material. 
Now you do have to create an account, but everything is completely free and I highly recommend you guys to check that out if you haven't got Medify or the like. My fourth free resource is another website called Medic Mind. Now Medic Mind is a UK based company that offers a full entire UCAT course. They also have free questions as well. So they have a set um, of five, I think per subsection, that really goes into um, the specific question types. So that's a really good resource to check out if you're trying to focus on a particular question type, say syllogisms within decision making. So I really like to use that for my targeted practice and they give you around five, uh, 25 questions per little area. So really hundreds of questions there for you to work through. Really, really good resource. My fifth resource to share with you guys is a website called Phrases UCAT. Now Phrases UCAT is a paid service, but they also offer a free question bank. And while the question bank, I would say, isn't quite the best, it's definitely still very, very handy if you just want a lot of questions to go through. And again, there are free resource, heaps of questions, so good to get that practice in. However, having said that, I do really want to emphasize to you guys that it's not about how many questions you do, it's a lot more about how you do the questions. As in someone who spends 1,000 questions and really meticulously breaks down te their technique compared to someone who spends 10,000 questions just spamming the questions is not going to do as well. So really make sure that when you do work through these resources that we're not spamming these questions and not rushing through them, but rather slowing things down, reviewing our mistakes and going, where can I make an improvement within my technique to see improvement? If that makes sense. Now I've listed a bunch of resources that you can all check out that are mostly free, but also, there's also a few things I would probably avoid as well. Now obviously I'm not out here to shame any company or anyone, but my general advice is if that course is super expensive, i.e. over $1,000, you have to question whether the value provided to you is worth the money or not. Because obviously a lot of people are out there to try and get money and oftentimes the value provided by a service isn't as good. So my main piece of advice there is to really read the reviews, ask people how they felt about the particular program or service and make your decisions based on that rather than just seeing the advertisement. Because as a tutor myself, I will say that tutoring is helpful, but not necessary. So it's important to make that distinction of whether you need something versus whether you want something. Because I don't want you guys to be in the position where you've spent $2,000 and you realize that you actually enjoy that $300 Medify subscription more and that that provides you more value. Now, I do want to mention one final resource, and this is a bit of a cheat code, but it's actually my YouTube channel, uh, because I post a lot of tips and tricks, and I will be posting guides on each UCAT section, and obviously answering any questions that you guys have, whether it's through the comments on YouTube, or through the DMs on Instagram. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Obviously, you can tag me on the Discord as well, and I'll try and get back to you. One last shout out to the study sessions on the UCAT Discord. So, if you guys don't know yet, the UCAT Discord, as I said, is very, very friendly, but another thing they do is they provide free UCAT study sessions that are around half an hour to an hour, whether it be once a week, twice a week, three times a week. It's very regular, and you can be a part of those and really contribute to not only sharing your technique, but hearing other people's techniques to solving questions. As, you know, I, as someone who personally runs these sessions, I find that people often find it really rewarding to see what other people think. Obviously, people that have, might have sat it before, might have been sitting it for a second, third time, etc., having that insight is very, very valuable. Alongside that, I do just want to say as well as a final word that there are some really great YouTube channels that you guys should check out, particularly if you are an Australian high school student or a university student. And those YouTube channels, I will list them down, but Emil, Darren Tan, Archer Newton, all Australian medical students that have gone through the exact same process that me and many other applicants have, and they've shared great tips on their uh, channel to share how, not only how they did the UCAT, but dissecting their techniques and doing live subtests and all that sort of stuff. So if you're not only interested in the UCAT ATAR as well, definitely a huge plus, and I highly recommend you guys to go check them out and subscribe to the channel. That's about all I have for you guys today. So again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message or leave me a comment, and I'll try and get back to and answer it to the best of my ability. If not, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.